check that out right there. Look at that. We got a little taste of paradise coming right at us. We got the Alolan Executor all crystallized, all bedazzled. There's actually four heads. Can you spot the four? It's right there. I'm not going to. We're not going to play that game. It's too early. We got Latios. We got Latias. We got that nice Alolan feel. We got some cool friends on the side. We got a nice Trap Inch looking at some duties. We got a, a Palkia. And look at that Quaxley. Best boy. They decided to put the best boy in one of the best sets right here. Paradise Dragana. The newest Japanese set came out the uh, same time, I think, as like Stellar Crown, it actually the 13th. We're going to open a box of this. Where can you get a box of this for yourself? Where can you go? Yep, right there. You see him right there, right there. Next to that inconspicuous card next to it for no good reason whatsoever. You got Pokini. You're going to go check out Brian. Go check out Pokini.com. I have a code, code Opossum. It's going to get you $5 off and you order over 50 bucks. It's going to get you a free booster pack. And Brian, you know, he, he's a good man. He knows how to get those ducks on the hunt. He's got a little duck call. He's got a beard. He's going to put that stuff on. He's going to help you out with all the hunting stuff. You're, you're going to be having duck meat for days. You won't even be able to get away from it. Appreciate you, Brian. Thank you so much. Thank you for supporting the channel. And without further ado, we're going to open this up. Check out Pokey and E. Let's rip into this stuff, okay? Oh, yeah, I'm here with Virginia, by the way. I don't think I said she was here. I just, I just looked over and she was, like, standing here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot you wanted to be part of this too. Yeah, she's here too. Hey, girl. You forgot about me. I didn't forget. Like I just forgot you wanted to be here. <laughs> I don't know if you were like busy or something. I didn't know if you were playing like Pokemon Quest or something. Playing with your square friends. Hello. <laughs> you aren't playing with your square friends. Yeah. Not today. No, I am. I'll play. I'll play with them later. I'll tell all my secrets. I'm not gonna tell all your secrets. You know, I think everyone knows you like Quest. You're like one of the only people that has those figures. <laughs> Not true. I don't really know. Well, there are a lot of people that have the plushies. I have seen that. All right, standard Japanese box rules. We got 30 packs. It's going to be just standard stuff. We can get one, maybe two secret rares. We're going to get a bunch of cool arts and stuff. Check out that pack right there. Look at that. It's the same as the box, but look at it. It's shinier now. It's on a little piece of metal. Without further ado, let's rip into this dragony set that most certainly isn't going to be controversial for what dragons they decided to include. And of course, it has to be the first card to talk about. Look at that guy. More apples, more apples. <laughs> it's apples. Well, you can tell we're in Alola, though, too. Look at them cheeks. That dude's double cheeked up. He looks like a Lolan Raticate and like a Lolan Persian. Everyone's favorite version of Persian, I'm sure. Look at that guy. <laughs> His cheeks are so big. We got a Klefki. We got the Satai, excuse me, Satoddle. He's a toddler. We got the Flittle. Ooh, we got the Surfer Bro right there. We are most certainly in the Alola region, baby. Got them summer vibes going, moving into the uh, the fall time. This would have been a good set to open in like June or something. Has that real good feeling. Pan Simeon. Skarmory. There's a beautiful Skarmory AR that is in this set. That'd be awesome to see. A very starry-eyed trap inch. Also looking at some a rock, a chocolate, a duty. You guys decide. You figure that out. We got ourselves a gimme ghoul holding some coins. And then we got the, the boy. He's right there. He's on the cover. Of course we're gonna get him. We got eggs. We got four eggs to be exact, not just three. Yeah, he has a butt face. He does have a butt face. He's like cat dog, but like the tree form of it. Alolan Executor. I really am surprised they're putting Alolan and regional variants outside of their respective generation and sets again. That is genuinely actually really cool to see. That's something that's uh, pretty cool. I like seeing that. Alolan Vulpix, the same with like Silver Tempest. They didn't forget about him. We got Quaquaval, the Max Evolved of Best Boy Quaxley. We got Semi Seer doing a little bit of a charge up, doing a little bit of the fire punch. We got Delmice. We got Grapplock ready to grab something. Ooh, check that out. I actually haven't seen too many people pull this one. This is the Bruxious AR. Yeah, you're just swimming around that ocean. You're swimming all real good. That was a beautiful art. Yeah. Mitsuhiro Arita did that. Look at that down at the bottom. That is a Mitsuhiro Arita original. His John Hancock's on it. Beautiful. That is an awesome card. I like that a lot. Oh, this set's gonna give me that great summer feelings all through it. It's just, I'm just feeling it. I don't. I'm not ready for pumpkin spice yet. I'm ready for more tropical drinks and. 110 degree weather. We got Drillbur covering up his duties. There's a lot of duty stuff in here. We got Applin, the, the least controversial Pokemon that's ever existed. We got Rufflet. Ooh, and we got a, a Archelodon EX. They're putting a lot of Archelodons in some sets too. Yeah, it's too hot. I'm just, I'm way over summer. It is way too hot to be. It is going to. It might be hot till Christmas, actually. It really, that's a 100% a possibility here. It's happened a couple years, but hopefully not this year. We got Drayton. We got Grapplocked. We got the, ooh, the cast form, the sun version cast form. That's a cool card. We got Titan, And we got Shinoda just sticking his fingers all in the in the dirt, just feeling which dirt feels best. He's trying to cool off. Ooh, he, ooh. He's a little creepy. Mr. Burns is a uh, Max Mofo would say. Oh, I miss Max sometimes. I really do. 
The, the, I always miss him. I do. I miss him as well. The Pokemon content we need around here, am I right? Yeah. We got the Ding Ding Bell Ring for Service right there. We got the the Simi Seer. We got the Applin. We got Drillbird covering stuff up. Ooh, another AR. We got the Vibrava. Heck yeah. We got another one right there. I don't know why Flygon got left out of the special art ring, but you'll take what you can get. Also, Trap Inch would have been. Does Trap Inch have an AR? I don't know if Trap Inch. I don't think Trap Inch is an AR. That would have been cool to have one too. I genuinely am trying to think. Does Trap Inch have an AR? I do not remember. I will I'll flash it up here and make myself look stupid or not stupid. I guess we'll see. Nope. We got Latios zooming through the canyon, going at mock speed, doing some training. We got ourselves a Rufflet. Very confused about where he is. He's just hanging out. We got Drozna. It's very nice to see that they're including Elite Four members, giving them some full art trainers, too. We got the cast form. Ooh, we got an energy. We got an explosion energy. You put this on a Pokemon, it explodes. It's just like that. It turns it into an electrode. That, that's not what this does. That's not what pink. It, it is pink. The A-Specs are nice. They all, they stick out really well. I wonder how long they're going to keep doing these for. Forever. Yeah, probably from forever. They're just for every set from now on. Yep. Speaking of pulling stuff in sets, what would you like to see come out of this set, Virginia? Um. Surfer? Yes. <laughs> Surfer. Um, Drasna. Drasna? Yeah. Drasna would be cool. I do like the full art trainers. We're not typically blessed with trainers from Japanese sets. Like English, we get trainers all the time. But I'm a trainer collector. They they elude me. I don't know what it is. They just know I want them and they hide. We got Altaria. We got the Clobopus. Very underrated Pokemon. I like Clobopus a lot. We got Quaxley. Best boy. Giving us a little wave. Giving us a little, hey, how you doing? Mm -hmm. We got the Morlul. Morlul. That's a very hard name to say. And then we got we got the mascot for like a kid's yogurt or like some string cheese or some Skippy Squeeze peanut butter. Look at that guy, Gold Dango. Would you take food from him? No. You wouldn't? No. Nah. What if you rolled up to your kid and was like, hey kids, get on my skateboard? I'd be like, get away from him. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, don't talk to that man. Don't talk to that weird gooey gold man. Get inside. <laughs> I mean, it is. That's that's just. He's kind of a, he's kind of a weirdo. I like him though. He's kind of he's that just right level of goofy. We got Mighty Morphin time. We got Smoochum. Hey, that's the first Smoochum we've seen in a little bit. New card maybe. Well, the first in a minute. They've been giving baby Pokemon some love lately. We got the Quaxley again saying hi. We got the Clobopus. Ooh, we got Braviary. Look at that sucker right there. Look at that beautiful bird. Man, them colors look really good on that. That is a fantastic card. Man, the ARs, I just don't know how people look at like some of these art rares and are just like, man, Scarlet and Violet's mid. I don't either. It's one of the things I'll never understand in this world. I'll just, I'll never get it. I'll never quite understand where, like, I mean, each has their own preferences. Everyone has their own takes. It's fine. It's just, I, I don't personally see it. That's just me. We got Flittle. We got Trap Inch. Ooh, we got the Braviary. We already got your art version. But that is a nice art, too. Coming in, going going in for something. Maybe picking up some fish. That's a lot of fish. That's a lot of fish. That's a lot of fish. Where are we going to get that fish? What we got? Oh, another Braviary. Back-to-back -back Braviary. Yeah. We got <laughs> Weird <laughs> by Bravo. We got Satitan. We got the Apple. The Applin. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we got Iron Crown. Hey, they're keeping these hollows coming around, too, like the Ancients in the future. That's kind of neat. I like that shine to it. It's a really cool pattern on that stuff too. The ancient ones, however, are my favorite. Can't help it. I just like the prehistorics, all the all the chrome stuff that they're putting on all them Pokemon. Keep that chrome off them. I like them all. Yeah, they're fine. I like I like the future Pokemon too. They're just not quite as interesting. They literally did just make them robots though. And we're like, that's good. Make them robots. <laughs> Iron Valiant gets a pass though. See, there we go. We're talking about that right there. Gouging fire. Look at that. Look how much cooler. That looks than just make it metal. That's awesome. Look at that mane. Look at that like big old crown thing that's got on right there. That's pretty cool. That's beautiful art. That is really cool. I don't once again, I don't know. I don't get it. Akira Igawa, you did fantastic on this type of stuff. Even the hollows are an absolute treat in the set. Paradise Dragon. The set makes people kind of divided a little. All over the place too. Even our slash pokey investing doesn't quite know what to do with it. They're asking like double the questions they normally do and they love asking questions if i was on there i'd say yes to everything that's like the thing just like sell sell everything get rid of it all get every card you have just put it up no i'm they're like so wait, should i sell this yes should i buy this yes <laughs> buy it yes sell it yes <laughs> hold it yes <laughs> they're like freaking out they're like what do i do which which one do i do she said yes to all of them just say yes. <laughs> got Klefki. Just freak him out. That one's got his brain out, right? Mm -hmm. That one's just like extra kind of dumb about it too. He's kind of concerned about it. 
But like he's kind of happy about it. Like he's kind of like really he's kind of like yeah, you get what you deserve, bitch. <laughs> like he kind of is, and that, he's just really sad about it. It's crazy. It's a, I don't know executive. It's just like a existential crisis type thing. We got Clopopus. Ooh, and we got Mighty Morphin time, baby. Sorry to get all like uh, next level about some eggs. I didn't necessarily mean to. Just you know, something something I think about sometimes. We got Turtonator. We got Sit uh, Sitala. Look at that. He's adorable. Just watching the watching the sunrise or sunset. We got Smoochum, we got the Excadrill, and Mighty Morphin Time again. Give Jinx a uh, Mega Evolution. <laughs> You're like the one person that, like, I, I wouldn't necessarily mind. I'd like a Jinx Evolution or, like, something similar to that. But, like, the Pokemon community. Hey, look, it's Lysia. Hey, look, it's Lysia. Hey, look, it's Lysia. That's, that's weird, right? Lysia, I don't know. It's I guess a, a card you can pull in the set. I'm not really too sure if it's, like, uh, any good. We got Drillbur covering the duties. We got Skarmory yapping, just yelling about something. We got Quaxley, best boy. Debatable. We got his path there. Debatable? Mm -hmm. Who would the other best boy be? Boy Coco. Boy Coco? <laughs> the dumb sandwich pepper? Yeah. Guy that just stares at you blankly because he's got no brain. He's like that dumb egg that we were just looking at. I like it. <laughs> I guess. I mean, Quaxley. I think Quax has got him a little beat, but eh, each their own. I actually like all the starters this generation. They are all pretty good. They're like, there's not really a bad starter in Paldea, and I think all their evolutions and stuff are pretty good too. Not, not, a, not unhappy with Paldea really as a whole. Scarlet and Violet, in my opinion, has turned out to be pretty good. We got the yeah. Dusk Ball, we got Semi Seer, we got Flittle, we got Vibrava, and we got Quaquaval. Look at him. Look, how, how can you be mad at that? How can you be mad at this cool guy? Look at him. Mm. <laughs> What's hmm mean? Uh, oh, all these Fue Coco fans I'm always talking about that stuff. We got his Pathra. We got Flittle. We got the eggs again. One of them's kind of dumb. We got the Quaxwell. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, we got Tapu Lele. It really is a Lola back in here. Like, they're just floating around. They brought the Island Guardians back. Very demure. Very pretty. Very demure. Very, very, very nice. Very mindful. Yeah, that's what it was. I couldn't think of what the other word was. <laughs> That meme like came and went. Like it was like here for like three days and then it was gone. No, it was around. Was it? Yeah. I just wasn't paying attention to it. it <laughs> I don't know how. It's kind of a goofy meme, but it's oh, whatever. It's fine. Eh, eh, eh. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what is? Hey, it's Dialga. It's just a weird POV of him. Like you're kind of looking up at him. Like you got to tell him something. Like Daddy, I threw up on your floor. And that's you looking up at him. He's about to freak out at you. Yeah, it, it was kind of hard to tell who that was for a second. That's an interesting angle of, of Dialga. That's cool, though. Hey, see, they, they included the dragons y'all like. We got the special service bell. We got Quaxwell. We got the Vibrava going away from the volcano. That's actually kind of nice. You got, like, some leaves. He's flying a little bit. That's kind of nice. It's a super cool art. We got Klefki. Where is Klefki, anyway? Where is this that he's hanging out at? Cool place. He's like hanging out in like a creepy Ronald McDonald like escape mansion or something. It's something weird. And then we got Apple. So, oh my God, look at him. He's also running away from something. He just got out of a cage because someone was trying to eat him like a pie. All the apples are scared. They're running for their lives because people know how delicious they are. Jesus. I mean, I got, if someone's trying to get you, I got to understand. We got the bulb. We got the trap inch. He's, he's contemplating. He doesn't know what he ate. He's, he's still thinking about it. <laughs> we got the cryogonal. We got the semi seer. Ooh, and we got Turtonator. We pulled the, the very demure Turtonator, speaking of that last episode. He's very mindful. Very polite. Very polite and very demure Turtonator. Coming out of the cave. He, he was very polite, though. We got Surfer Bro. We got Shaka Bro. He's got his nice little, uh, little, uh, uh what's that? A Sharpedo, uh, fucking necklace. Uh, that, that went on way too long. I'm sorry. Grapple Locked. And then we got Bruxish. Old Bruxish. Yeah, there are a lot of people that don't like you. I remember when Gen 7 was announced, and like Bruxish, and specifically also Alolan Executor was announced. I fucked up this pack. I remember that too. Yeah, people were just like not happy at all about <laughs> like it, it was something that Team Skull got like kind of roasted too. Yep. Just something people that. people just were not happy about it at all. We got more lol. Ooh, we got the Flygon, baby. Check that out. Look at that. I don't know why they skipped on you getting like some special fancy art they sure did though but hey you got yourself a nice crystal hat so i guess you take what you can get flygon you may maybe you did deserve a little bit more always maybe just a little bit flygon is cool i think yeah. flygon still he needs a he needs an attack buff he needs at least like 10 more points to his like attack stat i truly think he does okay we got Lysia. 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 we got a panseer we got the morlul we got the drill burr 
Ooh, we got Mr. Burns once again, testing the soil out, checking it out for radiation. Four more packs, and we're gonna get a secret out of this. Brian, I remember something good in here. I, remember, I don't wanna have to write an email with a lot of exclamation points. You know I can do it. You know, you, you know I have them. You brought these packs. Bless this mess. We got the Dusk Ball, we got Smoochum, we got the Duralodon, we got the Morlul. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, hey, we got the Flygon. We got a full art Flygon. I, I forgot that these were in the set, like these little weird full arts. Hey, I'll, I'll tell you what you can get. That's pretty cool. That's a nice little uh, rainbow. I didn't even know I was going to be pulling it first. Hey, look at that. Flygon with the new crystal hat stuff. I'll take it. That's pretty cool. And I do think these are they're a pretty big improvement from the standard full art Pokemon. You got a hat indeed. Yes, you did. Last three packs. Probably nothing else in the booster box, but hey, you never know. There might be uh, might be an extra bonus surprise in there for us. We got the Latios, we got the Applin, we got Excadrill, we got Skarmory, and then we got the everlasting potion of never dyingness. You rub it on your skin and you live forever. You just it's just something that happens. You just live forever, hmm. like chocolate. 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 We <laughs> we got Braviary. They're fucking millennials. They always do quote <laughs> fucking SpongeBob. We got Cryogonal. We got Panseer, we got the, the Existential Crisis Eggs, and we got the man who does not do any leg day anything. And I, I, I'm not, I love Gen 5, I really do, but I've always questioned the genies. Uh, like, they're, they're just people. They're just people that are like covered in mud. <laughs> they're not even Pokemon. That's just some guy cosplaying as a Pokemon and living out in there. Those are real. That's just, that's just real. These are real. <laughs> that's what everyone does in real life. Last pack. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Once again, check out Pokini if you want to get a box for yourself. Feel free to use my code in the description or don't. Just uh, enjoy. Get yourself a box. Open up some stuff and enjoy what Pokemon has to offer us as of right now. We got ourselves the, uh, excuse me, Flapple. I almost said Appleton. We got the Swablu. We got Quaxly. We got ourselves a Vibra that the Vibrava. And we got Latias. EX to end it. Beautiful. Latias getting some love finally. All right. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Appreciate everybody actually going and supporting Brian if you want to, of course. Thank you so much for watching the end of the video. If you did, great. If you like the set, awesome. If you don't like the set, eh, each their own. I'm a pretty big fan. Bye. Have a good one. Bye.